on a serious note, he is very limited in his uh, arsenal of skills when it comes to mixed martial arts. However, what did make him a great kickboxer uh, also happens to transfer over to the MMA side of things. His toughness, his chin, uh, his ability to to power over his opponents with his with his. I mean, he's not the tallest guy, but he is very broad, very strong. Very, he's got a very solid base. Hard puncher, good hands. Uh, he's also got good feet, although in pride he's really been more of a of a down the pipe and and a, you know knock you out not knock you out with some bricks on the end of his hands kind of guy so far. But he's shown some kicking prowess when he fought Mirko Krokop as well. So uh, you know he does bring a, a very powerful arsenal at what he is good at. And on the ground, I think just by nature of being Samoan, that just makes him really really strong. He's a good fighter, no doubt, but uh, he's still a Maori. The only thing that matters to me is I put this guy face down on the ground, put him out any way possible by submission, stretch him out, take his arm with me, tear his foot off, take it back home as a souvenir. I really don't care how I'm going to get it done. Pick him up, drop him in a Michinoku driver, anything I can do to get this guy out of here and get him done as quick as possible and let the rest of those stooges beat the crap out of each other while I'm sitting back sipping a pina colada and just waiting to see who's going to be able to make it to the next round. No, he doesn't worry me. Well, I've, I've trained hard for this fight. I, I just, I'm looking forward to it. I just want to go in there and finish Josh off. I just, I just want to win. I uh, want to go to the next round. I have faith in my right hand. I think that I, mean, I can knock anybody out with it as long as I hit him right and I hit him down the pipe and on the sweet spot. I, I think I can put anybody down. However, uh, if that's if that's how it goes. That'll be that'll be great. I'd like to be the guy to say that he knocked Mark Hunt out in, in MMA and it would make a real uh, statement to the rest of my opponents. But it's not important to me. You know, a win is a win is a win is a win. And, and of course, obviously, I never go to the decision anyways, so I know he's gonna get finished one way or the other. Josh, the baby-faced assassin Barnett is 28'6'3", 245 pounds, 1 and 2 in pride. Akakura, 178 cm, 126.5 kg. Mark the Samoan monster Hunt is 32, 5, 10, 275 pounds, 5 and 1 in pride fighting. This guy brings out the fighting spirit in his opponents. A total elimination absolute 2006 in May. He and Siyoshi Kosaka left it all in the ring in a tremendous battle that ended in a second round TKO victory for Hunt and a memorable final fight in pride for TK. Barnett, of course, dedicating this fight to Siyoshi Kosaka, looking for a little revenge in addition to trying to advance to final conflict absolute 2006. Judge, judge, judge. Ready, fight! Very interesting, both these guys smiling and laughing at each other before the fight starts. Let's see what changes. Weston. Barnett right away goes for the Greco-Roman clinch. Hunt turning it around to the corner. Barnett looking for the guillotine choke. Good job by, by Barnett getting him in close, not letting nice. Hunt get swinging off. Knee to the abdomen as well by Barnett. And if he has his druthers, this fight is not going to last long. 29 of his 31 MMA victories have been within the first 10 minutes. Hunt has been on an incredible streak here in Pride Fighting Champions. Wow! Oh my God, sorry Mark, that was, I could not believe the speed that Barnett's pushing right now. I, he stepped on, I thought he was gonna stand there and try to swing with Hunt, and all of a sudden he switched into a leg sweep. This is where Barnett wanted to bring the fight. Hunt, after losing his debut against Hidehiko Yoshida, has won five in a row, and some of the biggest names in Pride Fighting are among his victims. Nice side control here by Barnett. Now we're really gonna find out how much Hunt's been really working on his ground game. But that's not a guy you want to have on top of you in this position. He's really, really athletic. He's really flexible. He's, he's very tenacious about what he does. Yeah. 
See Barnett now working far side, maybe trying to get a key lock in there. Hunt, biding his time. Uh-oh, he's got that wrist pinned down. He get a topside triangle if he can get, his, get uh, Hunt's left arm caught in his legs as well. Right now it's on the ground, so he doesn't have anything. He can pop that arm out, of course, trying to go for the Kimura now. Hunt trying to turn. Uh -oh. Now he's got it. Going for the Kimura. It's yeah, over. That's it. Mark Hunt has been submitted at two minutes and two wow. seconds. Josh Barnett advances to final conflict, absolute 2006. You know, I gave the edge to Hunt at this state on the ground, so I think Barnett's gonna be able to get inside and get it down. But like you said, Marl, if this goes to the ground, Barnett pretty much will have his way with him, and he absolutely did. Good job for Josh Barnett. Via the Kimura, Josh Barnett bounces Mark Hunt from this tournament. And that has been the story for Mark Hunt, as obviously, Drake, you said, how much has he learned on the ground? You know, he's one of the premier stand-up fighters in the game, but he was taking on a, a dominant fighter on the ground, and Josh Barnett picks up a huge win here for the American as he hands Mark Hunt his second loss in Pride Funding Championships. Great job by Josh, st staying right with his game plan and getting after it. Nice work. I guess I'll let train it up there at Big Bear help them out. I'll let train down there in Orange County. I guess uh, what you know when you only have to work two minutes and two seconds. I guess it, you don't really uh, take that high altitude training into regard. But look at this beautiful Kimura here by, and you can see the paint etched upon the face of Mark Hunt Barnett looking good. <laughs> I had a lot of fun and I, I didn't get my brain cracked open and spilt all over this mat, so I'm pretty happy right now. Uh, of course, you know, I like Mark, so it would have been okay if he had put my brain pen on the floor. I could, I could live with that. Not a lot up there at this point anyways. <laughs> However, rest of these guys, I'm glad you killed each other tonight. Heal up those wounds. I hope those stitches go in well, because I'm coming for you. I'm gonna open every stitch up you got. I'm gonna crank every injury you got. I'm gonna be in your face every single minute of every second of every fight. That belt is mine! Hopi, are you gonna up? One of the best promos in MMA, period. Josh Barnett. <laughs> Obviously, this thing went the exact way you wanted it to. Two minutes, two seconds, very short. I would say exact, because I wanted to do something a little more dramatic. Uh, half crab, or I'd like to have suplexed him, but uh, he went down with the, when I, when I slipped into my, my, my kind of a shot. And, you know, I'll not complain, but uh, this has been kind of like a catch wrestling one-on-one -on -one so far going through this tournament, starting with the top with the top wrist lock, which is like your most basic move, and then don't move into the double wrist lock also. A lot of you refer to it as chicken wing, and if you do jiu-jitsu, then you're going to call it a, a kimura. Uh, so it was a good win. It's a pretty basic move, but I, I get a lot of people with it in practice, and, uh, you know, I'll take anyone I can get.